Alright, hey everyone. I wanted to do a video on how to price these sort of garments for sale. And this is just my take on the matter, my two cents, you know, whatever. Um, so what I have ultimately done is I've gone back to doing, for a long time I didn't sell the, my garments. But I have gone back to doing them and that's because I've made an Excel sheet. And for me, the Excel sheet takes all the guesswork and emotions out of it. So what, it's very simple. I just do the material costs, so that's everything from fabric, laces, trims, but, buttons, just all your raw materials that are gonna go into creating that garment. I've got a column for that. I've got a column for my estimated machine sewing time, uh, my estimated hand sewing time, and then you're going to put a, you know, a, a dollar figure to your time. So that's gonna be completely personal uh, to you. And that's a whole nother discussion. Um, and then uh, shipping costs, taxes, those sort of things. Um, if you are taking credit cards, you're going to put your credit card fee into that. Those, you know, the extra fees at the end. Um, so for me, the Excel just you just punch in those those numbers, and it just gives you a, a dollar figure. Now I started doing this Excel sheet. It takes the guesswork out of it. Um, way long time ago, I would start to, to like, I, I tried to, sell, to blah, 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 blah. way long time ago, I tried to sell my sewing stuff, and I would look at the end kind of like, okay, they want a smock bubble, you know, maybe they want smocking under here, or that I would just sort of think about it, and I would think, well, you could get, get like a fancier, you know, thing at Carter's or Baby Gap or whatever for maybe around $20, $30. This is going to be, you know, something a little bit more special than that. So maybe it's around, you know, $50, $60, something like that. And severely undercut myself because the materials al alone are, you know, $20 to $30. And then you've got a good 10, 15 hours into making that garment if it's smocked and has hand embroidery work on it and, and all of that. So, um, you're just not getting paid for your time. And that was completely on me. I, I, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, I, I wasn't ever upset with any of my clients because I chose that price. But, you know, after choosing that price, because I wanted to, I didn't want to charge like an arm and a leg. But really, when you go and you do the math on the Excel sheet, these are not, ex these are not cheap garments, you know, um, especially if it has a lot of hand embroidery and, and smocking and just hand work, it just takes time. Um, and I'm not, I'm not an, an expert at this stuff, but I'm fairly proficient in it. I've been told that I work fairly quickly. However, it's just, it's just the nature of the beast. This stuff takes a lot of time to, to accomplish. So you, at least for me, I was getting to the point where I was really resenting the whole idea of selling it. I was not liking sewing anymore. I was feeling like I was doing, you know, 10, 15 hours of work for 20 bucks. And I was just like, why am, why am I here? Um, so the Excel sheet really, it, it keeps me at the price point that for me is worth my time. There's no emotion into it. You just, it's without the number. You give that number to your client. Yes, you should be upfront with it. Um, if you are lucky enough to have a client who's like, you know, sky's the limit, I don't care about the money, like, you know, I want this punch list of things in a garment, then that's another story. But most of the time, you're going to want to be upfront with it because it's going to be a pretty penny and most people are going to be a little sticker shock about it. Um, and for me, I either will sell something or I, I will completely give it away. There is nothing in the middle, at least for me. Now, these are learning experiences that I've had all, along the years. Um, but as far as like doing discounts for family members or for close friends, it, it, it gets me back to that point of like being resentful. Like, what do you mean? You don't, you know, it just, it, it gets, it doesn't work for me. So I either um, will charge what it should be charged according to my excel sheet or i will completely gift something um and you have to think you are not competing with walmart you're not competing with baby gap carters none of that um this is something that's it's ultimately it's a little piece of you and i know that sounds really it may it may sound really weird to some people um one of my sewing friends put up a little meme thing the other day and she was saying that 
um, or the meme was saying that if uh, if you work with your hands, you're like a handyman. If you work with your hands and your head, then you are a craftsman. And if you work with your hands, head, and heart, then you're an artist. And it's a part of you. Like it, it's it might it, that might be weird to say, but like putting this much into it, you know, having that design. Watch out! What's wrong? She got into your lipstick. Oh goodness. Okay. Anyway, I think you, you know what I'm getting at. Um, and ultimately, like I stopped doing this for a long time because I wanted to preserve my art of, you know, preserve my art, not my art, preserve my love for sewing and, you know, this art form over making money, which is why I stopped for a while. We are in the middle of the bedtime routine. Um, and I got back to doing it with this Excel sheet and since then things have been fine. Um, I don't get the emails back and forth, back and forth, you know, until someone finds out the prices. My prices are listed online. They're completely transparent, all that goodness. And it doesn't waste my time or the client's time. And it's just worked a lot better. So those are just my two cents on the matter. I am by no means an expert in this. Um, if you have experience in selling uh, any sort of art, whether it be handmade garments or, or else, uh, otherwise, um, oh, you did get into my lipstick. Um, just add, add your experience to the comments and, uh, hopefully other people will benefit. Um, I hope this was helpful, not too much of a cluster, and, uh, I will catch y'all on the next one. Thanks, guys.